Hello once again people of the internet and welcome to Retro Rewind where we take a look at and review old games to see if they're still worth your time playing. So should you play Brutal Legend from 2009? We'll start off with the first hurdle you might have when deciding to play an old game. Please to obtain, install and play. So as with almost every game ever, you can simply purchase this from Steam or GOG.com. It's also available on Xbox 360 and PS3. And for those of you with an Xbox Game Pass, thanks to the double fine acquisition, it's also available with that subscription. Although, inexplicably, it's missing from Game Pass for PC, which is an odd oversight. Installing is as you would expect via Steam and GOG, a click of a button. Download and install via Xbox and disc based only via PS3. Performance wise, the game runs smoothly on modern hardware, whether it's PC or Xbox Series X. No glitches, no crashes, no lag. Just pure metal mayhem. Kinda sexy though, in a weird way. Hmm. As always, your experience may vary depending on your system. Recommended PC specs are on screen now. But don't worry, you don't need a beast of a machine to play this game. It will run on any old laptop you have lying around. Even your grandma's laptop. Verdict. The pricing. On PC, you can get Brutal Legend for a bargain. It costs anywhere from £6 to £12, depending on where you buy it and if there are any deals going on. That's less than a concert ticket, and you get to play as Jack Black. What more do you want? On consoles, you can get it even cheaper. You can buy a physical copy on eBay for around £4, or just borrow it from your friend. Thanks, physical media. Oh, man! I would have bought it myself, but I just felt like it was too big, too valuable, like the kind of thing no one man should possess. Yes! Here it is. On digital Xbox, you can buy it for £12 or $15, or just use your Game Pass subscription. If the price is different for you when watching this video, please let us know in the comments. We're also interested in how the regional pricing looks for this game. Verdict. Do the graphics hold up? Absolutely they do. This game has a stylized look that makes it timeless and gorgeous. And on PC you can crank up the resolution to 4K 60Hz, which is pretty amazing for a game from 2009. Eddie Riggs' cheesy grin looks even cheesier in 4K and the metal landscapes look stunning. You'll feel like you're in a heavy metal album cover. Does the audio hold up? Absolutely 100% yes. The audio is one of the best parts of the game. From the music to Jack Black's voiceover, everything sounds awesome. This game features 107 metal classics from legends like Rob Halford, bah, the other guy. This is gonna be a bloodbath. Ooh, what is that smell? Is that burning hair? Let me kill Meister. Ah, uh, what the hell? Lita Ford. Would you like a ride? <laughs> and Ozzy Osbourne. It's about f***ing time. Verdict. Gameplay. Let's see how many genres we can name here. Hack and slash, action adventure RPG with a splash of real time strategy and a sprinkle of rhythm gameplay. On paper, it's a mess that can't decide what it wants to be. In reality, it's a beautiful bouncing love child of Tim Schafer and Jack Black. It really does work well. Despite the controversy back in release, where some people were surprised by the RTS elements and threw a bit of a tantrum. You begin with a lovely intro from Jack Black. Then you get into the game and start playing as Jack Black on steroids, with a character called Eddie Riggs, a roadie who got transported to the world of heavy metal. There he meets allies and enemies, inspired by different metal subgenres like glam, punk, goth and industrial. 
He battles the bad guys with an axe of the guitar kind and an axe of the literal kind. He builds an army, does missions and plans his epic RTS battles, all while listening to the awesome soundtrack on his car radio, which he calls the Deuce. The game is full of humour, references and easter eggs that will make you laugh and smile. The controls are intuitive and work great with no known issues. And on PC you can customise every key and controller button to your liking. I tested the game with an Xbox controller and keyboard and PC and both worked fine. Verdict. Final thoughts. I loved this game back on release, and I still love it today. Your enjoyment may vary depending on your taste in music, as the heavy metal theme is core of the game. But if you're not a metal fan, you can still appreciate the game for its fun gameplay, witty dialogue, and charming characters. Why is that sound? It's a devil screaming. It's an angel singing. It's f***ing awesome. It's called Heavy Metal. It really holds up in every aspect, and I wish they would make a sequel. If Double Fine can get Psychonauts a crowdfunded sequel, there's no reason why this game can't get a Microsoft funded sequel. Or even a Jack Black funded sequel. Come on Jack, make it happen! I wish there'd be a Brutal Legend 2 or a Brutal Legend movie, but you know, that game designer, Tim Schafer, is a genius. He's gonna make another mo uh, another game. I think he's gonna make, uh, 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 what's it called? It's called Psychonauts. Psy Psychonauts 2. Final verdict. Subscribe for more.